Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode number seven of the Fantasy Village Let's Build. Welcome back, everybody. Um, today, I actually have a guest. Uh, Mason's actually on the world with me. Um, hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, normally, I don't have guests on Let's Build series since it's kind of a solo act, but, uh, you know, Mason, we've just been kind of sitting here playing, so I figured, hey, you know what? Why not? He can be on the video. So Mason's just going to be kind of like my little helper. He's going to just be going through and randomizing the rows and just adding detail to stuff. Um, in case you guys don't know, Mason's got like a lot of experience building, you know, this kind of stuff, like medieval fantasy style stuff. So he's, he's good at this. So I'm, I, I trust him in, when it comes to kind of just working on things. But he's just here to hang out. Um, you know, it's going to be pretty much business as usual otherwise in terms of like this Let's Build series. So um, last episode, I was working on the second bridge, which... Uh, turned out pretty good, and I also expanded the river out. Um, I started this last episode, and I actually kind of finished it a little bit off camera, so that's pretty much connected out here to the lake area. And actually, we also expanded the roads a little bit as well, so I'm just going to get a quick aerial view for you guys. The roads are coming in very nicely. The curvature of the pathways is something that doesn't it doesn't even look like Minecraft. It's, it's, it's really incredible um, with just the way that all shapes out right now, so... Uh, the roads are coming together really well, so very happy about that. And today's video, I actually want to work on something a little big. So, um, last episode I mentioned how I wanted to have like a town hall, or as I think I'm going to call it, a Jarl Keep. It's kind of like a little Skyrim reference, and that'll be kind of like the the Jarl of the town. So it's basically like, I guess, the, the mayor in fantasy terms. And I'm going to kind of have like that, the mayor's house, I guess. So I'm going to start building that today. Should be a pretty large build. Um, it's going to be similar style to the builds that you'll see already on the village. So we're going to be using a mixture of cobblestone, uh, oak wood, the, just the regular logs. We're going to be using some spruce wood stairs, plank slabs, the whole nine. We're also going to be throwing in some gray stained clay as the roofing block because it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So that is what I'm going to get going on here. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And I think I want to build it over here. Kind of on this peninsula area i kind of talked about that at the end of last episode i thought it's a good spot and with the beauty of pc minecraft so if i end up not liking it here or maybe if i don't have enough space i can always world edit it move it somewhere else and you know that will work itself out you know as i start to build but let's go ahead and get started i'm going to grab some blocks in the inventory real quick i need some oak wood i need some spruce wood and i think i'm going to also use um, I don't know. I, I think I might use hay as the roofs. Didn't you say hay is good for the roofs? Or, uh, it just kind of depends on what texture pack you're using, but um, it looks pretty. It looked pretty good in this one. In this pack, the uh, the stained clays are like all roof blocks. Like they all have a yeah. bunch of different styles. So I don't know. I think I'm probably just gonna go with like the theme that I've been going with. But no, I like the theme you're going with. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, oh, uh, Mason's by the way, he's not in the pack that I'm using, the conquest. He's just in default. So. Things look probably a little different for him. Yeah. I mean, I actually looked at the world in default, and it doesn't look bad, but it's definitely not nearly as as good as as it looks with the conquest, which is like the greatest texture pack probably ever to be ever to be made. Okay. It's really it looks really good in this texture pack. In in the default. In I mean in the one you're using. Oh oh yeah okay yeah yeah. All right, so I'm gonna start um by placing a few blocks here. I think I'm gonna try to do it. Right here, do it. Um, let's go like every, let's go like two blocks away. Probably jump like three. Place another pillar here. So I'm gonna be starting off the front door, and this is gonna be loosely based off of um, one of the keeps in Skyrim. Loosely based though, it's it, you probably you'll be able to see maybe a little bit of a resemblance, but um, for the most part, it's just gonna be. Uh, themed similarly to the builds that have already been established in this world. So that's kind of like what I'm going to be doing. Stone, oak wood, the whole the whole shebang. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to grab some slabs here. I'm going to be grabbing some of these. No, nope, it's just a slab. Um, let's go ahead and grab some spruce slabs because those are the best. Okay, I, and I think I'm going to do a little steps or something. I was thinking about doing something like that then having the door and maybe even some glass around it maybe um, I mean I do really like the black stained glass 
I honestly would consider using it. Let me just take a look here if I did a kind of like a little U shaped of, of black stained glass. It's a beautiful block. I, I might just have to roll with it. And then of course the door, uh, door choice, you know, I don't really know what the best option is. They all look pretty good. What is, what does a dark oak wood door look like? It's kind of got like a dungeon. Ooh, that is, that's interesting. The best is the spruce doors. I mean, I don't know about in this texture pack, but. There's like this uh, Optifine connecting textures theme where you connect it to glass and it like changes the, that is really cool. I might actually just have to go with that. You, you can't see it. Yeah, because <laughs> I know I was about to say like, you can't see it, but it looks really awesome. If you watch the video back, you'll, you'll be able to see it. The question is, are you gonna watch the video? Are you? Are you gonna watch my video, Mason? Yeah, yeah. I watched the one today. Well, I, you know how it is. Yeah, I, I saw. It. I, I saw you clicked like on it. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Everybody yeah. else in the video should do that as well. Follow Mason's lead. Do as Mason does, and you will go far in life. Do as I command. Do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we've been watching Star Wars memes. They're quite quite comical. Okay. Um, let's place a block right here and right there so i'm starting off with this front door this is going to be a fairly fancy build just just letting you guys know this is going to be pretty hopefully pretty snazzy when it's done i don't know if snazzy is the right word to, to uh, describe a fantasy build but you know honestly i don't really build this kind of stuff this is kind of my first experience building this stuff on a large scale pretty much since the castle and that was kind of just like one build I always, I love these, this style of building. I wish it was more popular on YouTube. Um, just kind of never got really huge. You uh, know, it was actually, before you started your channel, it was really popular. Oh yeah, was it popular on PC or, or Xbox? I mean, everything's more popular on PC, but. Honestly though, like Xbox Minecraft, a lot of people play Xbox Minecraft. Like, yeah. Like it is, it's it's pretty booming. You know, I, I gotta say though, the. The controller is always going to be faster for me. You know, you, you say that, and I always thought I would never change, but I'm not great with the mouse, but I like it better. I just do. You know, it's funny because there's certain things about it. Like, there, there's some things that I can do faster because it's like the, the like block placing and breaking is more fluent, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a little bit faster. Yes, but yes. like I can't place like a roof. Roofs are hard. To oh, do. roofs oh. are hard. I was about to say the same thing. So the the issue with me is exactly that. Um, the yeah. the flying. You know how when you fly, you kind of like hover forward a little bit. You don't stop on a dime. Yeah. Like that is the number one like issue I have with PC Minecraft controls. Just like the fact really? that you just go flying past stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like on Xbox, you you just kind of you know come to a screeching halt. <laughs> So yeah, that's. I mean, I, I like the controller better. You know, have you ever actually set up a controller on your PC? Uh, nah. I, I always just tried to. I, I figured that if I wanted to be like, you know, seriously get into yeah. PC Minecraft, I would actually have to adapt to using, you know, a mouse and a keyboard. Yeah. So I just didn't even bother trying to crutch myself from the very beginning. Yeah, I mean, I know people that can't play games unless they're on a mouse and keyboard. You know. Oh yeah, there's, yeah. There's lots of people like that. All right, well, I'm starting off here on the front. Looks okay so far. Just, you know, barely getting started here. But let's see. I'm going to actually take this across like that. Probably going to create some sort of design there or something. I think I'm going to start off fairly simple with this. Have this run straight through. This is just going to be like the first part. It's going to get a lot more complex here pretty soon. I'm going to try to make this thing pretty tall uh, and hopefully have the interior make sense. Um, you know, certain people that I know don't really do a very good job with their interiors. Um, like? Oh, no, no, no one in the chat or anything. Like me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Nah, you're good. You're good, dude. Nah. All right, what else can I add to this? Uh, I was thinking maybe I could do that thing where I have this go out and then put the fence down. Kind of like what I did on the other build. Uh, I don't know if I, I might actually start to mix in some, hold on, let me grab the fences first. Did I use oak fences or spruce fences? I can't remember which one I used. Let me just go fly over and grab it. I'm pretty sure it was spruce uh, for these over here. Yeah, I think I should probably mix in some white wool because that does look good. I haven't done that just yet. Um, might even make the roof a little bit steeper. 
This is just kind of the start. But this is going to be a pretty large build, so it'll it'll expand out pretty pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually grab some more wooden blocks and kind of wrap this around the corner here, and then How we're going to start uh, turning it. What's up? How um how are you going to do this? Are you going to like build it over here and then um, extend the road, or are you going yeah, to? Yeah, well, actually, uh, if you want to like just start like expanding the road up towards this, that would be cool. Let me see what's going on over here. This looks cool. It, I'm just cracking the surface. I I actually have a pretty decent idea for this. So, well, the thing about that is though is that I can't really see exactly what you're doing because I'm in a. Oh yeah, no that's a, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you got to get this pack. I, I can yeah. just send it to you honestly. You don't even need to download it. I can just get you a copy of it. I can just you know yeah, yeah. send send it over like Discord or something. I don't know if I don't know if it's big enough to go over Discord, but whatever, it can be anything. You can do it on Discord, Skype. Don't matter. All right, let's turn this now. It's kind of interesting how you pointed out that like straw roof thing using the hay bales. Yeah, are you trying that? No, not that I'm trying it. It's just that like that's something that you would find in like Skyrim. Like Skyrim yeah. has like hay bale roofs. Yeah, I've seen that in Skyrim. So it's kind of interesting. There's just better options in this pack, which is why I haven't done it. But it is an interesting idea. I'm trying to decide if I want to make this roof steeper or not. I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, also, I'm going to have this go up one more here. Because we're going to start wrapping this corner. Also, I should probably have that stick out one extra block. Oh boy. This could be a little bit harder than I thought. Things never, the problem with doing Let's Build series is when you start something from scratch, you know, it, it takes a really long time to kind of get it to a point where it looks good. So it's, yeah. hey, I, I just got to keep working as fast as I can to kind of get to the, get to where I want to be. Especially when you build something, it's always frustrating when you do a Let's Build and you think of something in your head that you think will look good. Then you start yeah, building yeah. it and it doesn't look good at all. It just looks like it yeah, looks garbage. Yeah. That happens all the time. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens a decent amount. It happens. Of time. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Ooh, there's like a cave right there. Dude, let's just do stone right here. Okay. Nah, I I have a pretty sound idea for this. I just gotta roll with it. Okay, so that'll be on both sides, and I'll probably have that wrap around. Maybe even just make like a porch or something. Hmm. I don't know. Another thing I want to do is have a imperial flags out front. I want to do that. So I'm going to kind of have like a little, not a cross, but well, kind of, that's going to have the flag on it. Just run up to there. Go across like that. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if this is the best spot to build this already. Because I, I am a little cramped out front. I mean, I can always terraform. I just think there's probably more land space over there. I just thought it would be a cool idea to build it, like, on the peninsula. And I think it should be enough space, like, if I just look back here. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and grab the paintings. You're echoing a little bit, man. Do what? You're echoing. I am? Yeah. How so? Uh, no, you're good now. It fixed itself. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. So we're going to get the red ones. There we go. I can't get that cadence right. I, was, I used to be so good at that on Xbox going back and forth. There we go. Okay, so we got the uh, those pillars there with the with the imperial flags. Looks good. And this goes across right here. Okay, three blocks from the edge. Two blocks up from there, and that'll wrap around. Okay, so we'll get this front part figured out. 
we can go from there. What are you uh, What are you working on over there, man? I'm uh, just extending out this road. Like towards this thing that I'm building. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, just if you can make it like a little bit wider and then just, yeah, just start curving it, that would be great. Yeah, I'm gonna curve it to the left. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I think I need more color variety on this, and I need more, like maybe a different steepness, possibly. It's just starting though. How's it coming though? It's coming. I mean, I just started, so I'm not putting too much into this. Not putting too much stock into things just yet. I'm still thinking about making this this roof steeper. Like, do you know kind of how I did with the other builds? You know how you make like steeper roofs by doing like you know stair, full block stair. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm thinking about doing that. I think that would probably look a little bit better. And I'm also thinking about adding some more block choice because right now it's just like wood and, and cobblestone it's not a whole lot yes. of not a whole lot right now to it and I think I might start to turn this again around this corner so this will go this way now have that go in a few more blocks And like what that. do these paintings look like in your texture pack? They're like red banners. Really? Yeah. Well, oh yeah, you're they're in the default. They're like the. Um, they're really similar to the uh, the banners from the. What's that a texture pack called? On is it called the fancy texture pack? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, on Xbox. That's that's a really underrated texture pack. Really underrated. It's okay. just the glass, you know. Yeah. Although it looks pretty good on some fantasy builds. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. I. It's just one of those things where it's not gonna look good right away, but I know it'll look good when it's done. Ugh. Yeah. Let me make sure I get this design right. I think it's like that. You know how Christmas break has felt for me? How? It's like, it, it's, it's felt like an eternity, kind of, you know what I mean? But it's yeah. like, it also feels like just yesterday I was getting off for, off well, of, you know, this semester. That's just life in general. It's just like a mixture of that. That's, that's just life in general. <laughs> yeah. That's life, man. Time flies. And then it doesn't. Yeah, that's I don't know if this is enough space. I think I might move it. I really want to build. Maybe I'll just build the sawmill over here on this like peninsula. That might be a better thing to add over here. Do you think? You think like the, uh, a sawmill like up against the water would be a better spot for this? That'd be cool. Yeah. Sh should I just move this whole thing? You want to finish it first, or I can move it over here. Yeah, but what about the road? I'm not gonna move it on this on the video. I'll move it off camera, but. Yeah. No, you can still you can still continue the road over here because I'm gonna add a sawmill. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like so... kind of like going from you know moving it to randomizing blah blah blah. Let me uh, let me just make a quick change to this. Put that into the ground there, and then expand this grass. That way that connects a little bit better. Okay, let me continue this. Yeah, I feel like I can make this better, but. It doesn't look bad right now. It's just a lot of the same color. It's a little bit different than your other ones. You're not like... Yeah, that's 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 the issue I'm having with it. I think that the, the roof needs to be steeper. And I think the... the I need to add some white wool to it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue with this for a little bit longer before I make any changes, though, just so I can get a better view. Changes I The changes I want to make to it will won't be very hard. You want to add like white wool on the front. This is going to be like a mini castle. Like this thing's going to be big. So I, I already realized like I'm not going to have enough space for this. Mm. So I mean this flat land over here will definitely be enough space. Uh, because I'll put it like right up against the wall. Like I'll have it like connected to the wall in some way. 
because I'm going to start actually adding like another level to this. So I'm going to have like another wooden panel go up through here. This is going to be the challenging part because this is where it starts to get like, you know, the interior starts to ne get neglected. Yeah. The, that's... the interior, the interior planning, the planning of the interior starts to get bad when you do it like this. Yeah. Just like I don't want to do that because the other houses like it's pretty easy for me to add interior like there's a decent enough space I haven't done it yet but I will yeah you know, the problem really is is the indentions you know yeah oh yeah no no I, I am gonna I am gonna make it work I just need to be careful you know that I don't do too much too fast this is cool though I, I like what you're doing this is like this is like what I used to do you know I kind of changed it up a little bit um I like this though. I want to build something like this in my world. Yeah, Mason, you have. I mean, everybody knows about your medieval world, so. Not everybody. They should. Medieval they don't. is not very popular. Medieval, fantasy, whatever your name is. Alright. Uh, I'm going to take this across here instead. I just really like building this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, you didn't do it very much for a long time. You were building, like, modern and stuff. Yeah. When was the last time you built a modern house? Although, I have to admit, though, that skyscraper that we were working on in, on the stream, that was pretty fun. Yeah, did you finish it up? Nah, I haven't worked on it since the end of the stream. I'll, I'm going to be doing another CLD video soon mm -hmm. and working on it. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I, that CLD video will probably be uploaded before this video, so. Hmm. I don't know. We're have to, we'll have to wait and see. I'm doing some recording in advanced for this week because I'm going to be out of town. So Yeah, yeah. Gonna, I'm doing just some advanced stuff. That needs to be wide. And that's light. That's light. You get a wand out. A wando. A wando. Alright, this is where I'm going to start making it steeper. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. What's cobblestone? It's just set cobblestone. Oh, you can just set four as cobblestone's command. Okay. You can just ask me. I know most of them. I, it's funny because I started like memorizing them before I realized that like there's like you can just like set them so you can see them. It's kind of funny. I think it's like that. I am struggling with block placement right now. Holy crap. Okay. I see what you're doing. That's huge. Yeah, I have to be careful with scale. I'm gonna take a step back here once I get this down and see if I like this or not. Yeah, I I kind of just like wanted to build like the the Jarl's keep before I went away because it was looking fresh on my mind. Yeah. At least to get a, at least get the front of it started. Man, it's like hard to tell if that's gonna be symmetrical for my angle. I well, think I'm, it is. I'm I'm doing it wrong, so. Look at how, Dude, look at how you tall this is. You should just do like is. a ton of white wool behind that. Hold on, I, I gotta take a step back. Holy crap, that is tall. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I can do that. I, that is a little Dude, too god, tall. It. it looks so good. You think it looks good? I compared, think it could look really good. Compared to like the other, like, hold on, let, let's let's compare steepness here. Here, can you do one side? I'll do the other. Just go like one block in front, and just do like normal stairs going up like this. Like every other. Wait, you want me to go over to you or go to another house? Yeah, come over to me. Come over to me. That way we can just do it faster. I mean, actually, I'm now. I'm gonna, I just realized I'm probably gonna have it done by the time you can get over here and find the block in your inventory. That's the. That's the. Wow, look at that. Yeah, actually, I can just look at it. That, would, that. We don't that wouldn't look bad, but it's. I just I feel know. like that would look better. You think so? It wouldn't be as steep. Yeah. It doesn't really like fit the same theme that you're working with. In the well, here's the thing is, 
I, I, I was thinking about making the lower parts, uh, like the steepness of the top part. And yeah. that way it would be like extra tall. Yeah. Um, because I want it to be, you know, significantly larger than the other builds in the world. So maybe I will do that. I don't know. It's such a tough call. It really is. I think either way will work. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm going to sleep on it. <laughs> I'm not going to do the rest of that in just, in just right now. Plus, time flies. We're already, you know, 26 minutes into this recording, so... Mm. I'm gonna gonna wrap things up here in a second for this video. Take this down. I think I'm gonna do here. like a like a porch here or something. Like every three blocks, and like to there or something, and have this expand outward and wrap around this corner. Maybe, just maybe. I feel like this is going to be good when it's done. Because I can't, it's going to be like a mini castle. It's basically what it's going to be. I just have to pick the right shapes and the right block choice. And it's going to be gravy golden. Hey, hold on. Let me take a step back here. Okay. So that I'll probably have like a little balcony on that side. Or a little porch. With the stone wall behind it. I got to find a way to mix in some, some white wool to this build. And I think I got to find a way to mix in some... I was thinking about even adding like another layer to this, like up here, like just make it like insanely tall. What if you did white wool like right here? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. Maybe even more on the outside. But and then like in here as well. Yeah, I mean that already looks better in my opinion. I, I just I need to start I need to start um, copying what I did on the first few builds because I think I did a really good job with the first few builds honestly like with a mixture of colors yeah. on the on the front wall there like that just kind of worked out good so maybe I have to add more slabs more white wool maybe even use some uh, dark oak wood that would just make it look a little bit less bland the the yeah. I think the, the the general idea I'm going for though will will hold up it's gonna be a large build. But it's going to be like the focal point of the village because it's going to be kind of like this imperial keep that's going to be like, you know, within this small village. Because that's kind of the theme of the village. It's like, it's like a humble village, but that's being like, it's under imperial control. Yeah. Kind of, you, you kind of like, that's why there's all the banners everywhere. Yeah, I gotcha. So there's, I'm going to have like a, like a guard tower as well. So it should be pretty cool. But I mean, that's a pretty good start for now. Also, thank you for the roads, by the way. You did a good job with those. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're good with the roads. You're you're good on that. So, I mean, I'm just you know, there's no effing way you're gonna be able to fit this at the end of this mountain. Man. No, yeah, I'm moving it. Oh. I'll, I'm gonna put the sawmill over here instead. I mean, it's fine because that's what's so nice. Because could you imagine if I had to do this like on Xbox and I realized I didn't like it here, I had to redo the whole thing. It was like I did well, nothing. That's what we used to do you know? That's what we used to do exactly. But uh, this is good for now. This is good for now. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks, Mason, for uh, joining me. I guess. Yeah. And uh, thanks for working on the roads, so I appreciate that. So I'll be back for episode 8 in a few days, guys. I'm going to move this over there and work on it more. I'm going to kind of get the front of it figured out, and then I'll, I'll be used, uh, back and ready to continue to work on some other things. I might actually like do a sawmill next episode. That could be pretty cool. So much to do on this, uh, on this village uh, before it's done. So much to do. We're just barely scratching the surface. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and check out Mason's channel if you want. I'll put it in the description, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. See ya.